This is a World War I interphone set used in Army Air Corps airplanes. The equipment is made by Western Electric, who made telephones at the time. The helmet is leather and has interesting lacing in the back, uh, somewhat like a football. These were necessary because in World War I aircraft, the pilot and his observer or his gunner were usually separated uh, in open cockpits and couldn't really hear each other. Hand signals were used, but this was obviously much better. Uh, again, in, in instructions in the, the Jenny aircraft, the instructor and his student were separated and needed means of communication. The control unit uh, is a walnut with brass fittings. It apparently runs on D-cell batteries. Uh, interestingly enough, the D-cells have been around for 100 years. The box is, as I said, walnut with brass fittings and a brass tag that says Signal Corps U.S. Army Airplane Interphone Type SCR57, Western Electric Company. This dates from 1917, which is World War I. These probably went to France with the, uh, the Americans uh, that went over to fly. This equipment quite possibly saw combat uh, over France and maybe into Germany. An interesting point is how small this helmet is, probably about a size six. Uh, people were smaller and heads were smaller than uh, uh, as you can, I can't put this on myself. I wear a seven and an eighth. Uh, even in World War II, most of the headgear was was small, and the average uniform size seemed to be about 38 or 40 regular. Nothing, nothing like we wear today.